Last week, Razer released their newest keyboard, the Razer Black Widow V4X, or Cross if you're fancy. This is a trimmed down version of the V4 Pro. It only comes in a wired mode, has a few less macro keys, and doesn't have RGB lighting underneath the board. It also doesn't come with its own key puller, so I had to use one of my own I had laying around to swap out the keys later in the video. But enough about what it doesn't have. Let's talk about what it does have. As we open the box, we are greeted by the keyboard itself. Underneath the cardboard here, we have the cable. And underneath the keyboard itself, we have some instructions. And inside those, it wouldn't be a real Razer product if we didn't find the Hydra sticker. On the bottom of the keyboard, we have a stand arm on each side that has two settings. There's also a channel that will allow for the cord to come out at the top at one of three different positions. Printed all along the bottom of the board is the Razer slogan, for gamers, by gamers. Also, standard to most Razer products, we have green plastic inside the USB cord. This is always a nice little touch they add. Along the left side of the keyboard, you'll find six programmable macro keys. On the top right, you'll find the multifunction roller and secondary media keys. You're able to pause, play, skip, and tweak everything from brightness to volume. The biggest thing I wanted to not really show, but let you hear for yourself, is the two different key types this board comes in. These are both the Razer Mechanical Switch Gen 3 for quick, precise execution, but each switch feels and sounds completely different. The green switch is for precise actuation with clicky, tactile feedback, while the yellow switch is for quick actuation that's smooth and silent. And I won't go so far as to say it feels like a membrane keyboard, but it doesn't have that distinct mechanical feel. So if you are looking for a mechanical switch that isn't obnoxious, just to be obnoxious, this is about as good as it gets. These switches are also rated with a keystroke lifespan of up to 1 million strokes. Additionally, they have the same MX cross stem on them, so the keycaps are compatible with other keycaps, similar to I showed earlier in the video. These are double shot ABS keycaps designed to withstand intense use. Using the double shot molding process to ensure the labeling never wears off. The keycaps also have extra thick walls, which make them extremely tough to withstand intense gaming. And if you find yourself wondering just what exactly is double shot, it's a process that refers to how keycaps are made. Plastic is shot or injected into two different molds during construction. This means that the legends of a keycap, the letters, symbols, the clear plastic bits, are not on the same piece of plastic as the outer mold. Double shot keycaps offer clear fonts and longer lasting legends because of this dual design. Razer uses their Chroma software suite to power the RGB customizable per key lighting. Razer proclaims that their switch construction promotes brighter, even lighting, and you can customize each key from over 16.8 million colors and effects, including dynamic lighting for hundreds of Chroma integrated games. The keyboards are supposed to come with sound dampening foam and lubricated stabilizers, and while I'm sure they do, these green switches, they're about as loud as loud gets, so I don't know what, if anything, that sound dampening foam and lubricated stabilizer has as far as the impact goes, but I'm not going to tear apart the keyboard to find out. Overall, this is a good looking keyboard and presents a decent value at $130. I hope that you really found value of that comparison from the key sounds because I know that one of the things I really look for when I shop for keyboards is how clicky they are because there's a point where enough is enough. Thanks for watching and remember that if you enjoyed this video or found value from it to hit that like button and subscribe and maybe if you're feeling in an especially good mood hit that notification bell so you're alerted to all of my newest videos. Don't forget let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below.